Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back with a very, very, very exciting hair review video. You guys already know by the caption, but I'm reviewing the whole Fenty hairline today. Ooh. I have only tried a minimum of their products. I want to say probably max three of them. So I get to try the rest of them with you guys. This is the PR box that she sent out. It's just so cute. I was telling everybody, I was like, it gives me such Barbie vibes and I love it. So this is what the PR package looks like when you open it. Look at Queen, she's slaying. And then she has all the products in their colored box. Cause if you guys didn't know, that's me. And then, that's me too. This is my friend Ashton. She looks so good. And then we got my friend Brie over here. They also put this in here with Rihanna taking pictures and trying out all the products in the line. Oh, it's like a whole book. Like the products open as if it was a book. Oh my God, Rie, you think of everything. Rich One Moisture Repair Shampoo. Then we have the Rich One Moisture Repair Conditioner. The Richer One Moisture Repair Deep Conditioner. The Home Curl Curl Defining Cream. The Jelly Type Stronghold Gel. The Protective Type 5-in-1 Heat Protecting Styler. Instant Damage Repair Treatment. Last but definitely not least. The Controlling Type Hair Thickening Edge Control Gel. And the 3-in-1 Edge Styling Tool. I love this, it's so nice because it has a nice pick at the end. So you can style your edges with it, you can part your hair with it. And then it also has that bristle, nice comb picky side as well right here. My first impression with all of the in shower products going in with the shampoo first off bat it smells absolutely amazing all of the products do and i love how lathering and moisturizing it was right off the bat i love how it suds it up immediately that just always makes me feel like my scalp is getting clean and throughout the double shampooing that i did my hair didn't get more tangly if anything it got detangled throughout the shampoo process which i love i always look for that in a shampoo that helps with detangling before I get to my conditioner. And then like I said, I shampooed twice and then I reached for the instant damage repair treatment. The nice thing about this product is that you can either leave it in or rinse it out, totally your choice, but it's supposed to help with that breakage, split ends, it's supposed to make your hair nice and smooth, which I did feel like it did for me in and out of the shower. I chose to leave it in and just rinse it out after like a couple minutes. Next, I grab the deep conditioner. You guys can just use one or the other, the treatment or the deep conditioner. I wanted to use both because I'm testing it out for you guys. But first impressions, I love the formula of it. I loved the way that it just glided through my hair and it just felt really nice. It did feel like it left my hair feeling really good immediately after, along with how nourishing it felt. And it's also supposed to be really good for mending those split ends, keeping your hair hydrated and just overall making it nice and smooth. I left it in for a total of like three to five minutes before rinsing out. I don't typically do a deep conditioner. I either only do one if my hair has been put through a lot throughout the week or after I go swimming. Next, I went in with their conditioner. This is the final step for my end shower treatment. Here's what I will say, because I used the other two products beforehand, I didn't really get to see how the conditioner glided through my hair, but I will say it didn't do as much as I feel like a conditioner should do. I feel like the other two products did better. And by that, I just mean with like a nicer slip, um, feeling more conditioned. Overall, it made my hair feel good and I think she went into the routine well. I just was expecting a little bit more, but I think she's good still. So far, I'm actually really, really impressed with the products. Lathering everything was, it made my hair super soft and like detangled, like especially when the shampoo is helping with the detangling process. That is like so important to me is when a shampoo helps with detangling and not making it more tangled. Just because when you're shampooing, you know, you're getting in there and da da da. But this one was very, very, very lathering, very sleek, very smooth. The slip of it, like everything was just amazing. I'm gonna go in with the heat protectant because it's supposed to be a good like detangler and also with the sun outside, like you do want a little bit of heat protectant on your hair because the UV rays can damage your hair, okay? Don't undermine them. So I'm just gonna run that through my hair 
to give her a good detangle. So nice. Love, love the smell of everything. When she said warm, ambery, floral. Ambery, the notes of it are amazing. And the floral, it has like a very soft, like light floral undertone to it as well. I appreciate a hairline that smells good but isn't overpowering. All right, now let's get into this Home Curl Curl Defining Cream. Ugh, amazing. The consistency of this too is also very thick. It's like that, like a gel to cream ratio. It's so thick, I'm only gonna go in with a little bit at a time because my hair does not really handle thick products very well. But this one, crime is all I'm gonna say. This is one of the products that I had tried previously when I was at the Fenty event and I loved it right off the bat. The way it defined my curls, the way it made my curls so light and airy and didn't change the way that my curls, how I like my curls to lay. That was a really, really important thing for me. And also even with how thick this product is, it did not weigh my curls down at all. It gives that very hydrating look and feel to your hair. And of course that softness that we all want to achieve with our curly hair. I have very fine 3A slash 3B curls. So finding a product that doesn't weigh my curls down but also helps them in the long run is really, really hard sometimes. So I appreciate brands that really put an effort to make sure that the products are good for everybody and they're gonna hold everyone's curl type. And I feel like the Fenty hair has definitely strived to achieve that. I'm gonna go in with the jelly type. This is a stronghold gel. I typically have only used it for styling lately, but I do wanna use a little bit just for like that gel cast and see how it works with my hair. If you guys have seen in my videos, I have been using this gel for styling because it is so amazing for holding your hair. So I am really curious to see how it holds my curls without it having to harden and be almost like an eco gel um, because I haven't used it as just like a leave-in gel just for my curls, so we'll see. It's also not a like stiff gel. It's more of like, you can move it. It's like very jello-like, um, a little bit more on like the watery side though. So I do like how it can be versatile to where you can style your curls with it or you can also do a sleek style with it as well because I love a gel to cream ratio. I actually just started loving it from, you know, with less brands and all that stuff that you guys see me using. So I'm curious to see how these two hold up together. Go in with these hair scrunching mitts from Bounce Curl. They're so, so good. Curls are about to pop off, like I can already tell. All right, I'm gonna let her air dry. It's been an hour. Let's scrunch out this cast together. That I've been loving these gloves, so I do like to go in with them and scrunch my hair out. I feel like it helps. Oh, the curls are coming. Oh my gosh. Okay, we still have another hour of drying time, but we are almost there and the hair already looks so amazing. I'm so excited for this. I do need to recurl my bangs because I messed them up when I was doing makeup, as I always do. Rihanna. Rihanna, Miss Robin. Can I tell you that? This, this. The curls are popping. It's like nice and flowy and fluffy. Doesn't look oily at all. Is what we needed on the market. This is what the curly hair girls needed. It literally, it's like just how I like it. Even though you can't see my edges, I'm gonna finish off with the hair thickening edge control and their edge brush as well. Just so that I can say that I used every product in the line and show you guys. I actually love this gel. Been my go-to ever since I got the product. I actually haven't even touched my eco gel lately because I love this. It does not flake at all either. It has a really, really nice formula too. Look at that, already laid in slate. Like, I love it. I use this during the Fenty weekend that I spent with them and my edges stayed 
displayed the entire time they used this on me at the photo shoot and i was shook because typically with this type of formula i'm not really sure what it is but this type of formula doesn't typically work well with my hair but i mean it's rihanna and I'm honestly not surprised that this line is so amazing. I'm just, I'm so glad that she put actual effort into this line. You can tell that she put her heart and her soul into this and then she actually cares about it. The same way she does with Fenty Skin and Fenty Beauty. Now we have Fenty Hair and I think this is something that's going to change the market. As dramatic as that sounds, I think it's really going to make a shift for the curly hair girls because it's amazing it's it's awesome and i don't see my hair coming out like this a lot of the times with new brands that i try especially when they come from celebrity brands so this was really something that we needed from a celebrity that everyone a lot of people look up to a lot of people just love because she's so sweet and genuine and she really brings that into her brands and i really really appreciate that about her gosh i would honestly suggest everything for a really good leave-in i would go with the curl defining leave-in honestly and even their gel as well i'm obsessed thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you guys try it out and i'll see you next time